All right, guys, good day to you. It's Shane Head here for Pop RVs, coming to you today from beautiful Henderson, Texas. Right here in the Piney Woods of East Texas, we've got a very affordable, great entry-level fifth wheel for you today. I'm going to show to you a 2010 Bighorn 3385 fifth wheel. This unit has three slide-outs, a really nice floor plan, and at a really affordable price. So, guys, we're going to do a quick walk around, show you a few of the things. Uh, this is a pretty solid rig for the money. Um, as with most units this age, a uh, little bit of wear and tear, but nothing abnormal for its age and year model. So let's get started. So again, a 2010 Bighorn made by Heartland, a really good RV manufacturer. <clears throat> front, front bedroom arrangement, back living room arrangement. A couple things to note. Recently, they did have the whole roof resealed. Uh, this awning is relatively new and appears to be in really good shape. Back away and give you a good overview of the passenger side of the camper. Single point entry right mid cabin. Looking there at the rear, that is your living room slide out. Give you a little better look on the top of the awning. Overall in average condition, I would say for a normal wear and tear for its age, a uh, little bit of sun fading on the graphics, a little bit of cracking and peeling on the decals. Again, very common, uh, but all still very serviceable. Hydraulic leveling jacks on four corners. A couple things I'll point out. Uh, you do have a slide topper that's coming loose up here at the top. So you do have one slide topper that looks like may need to be replaced. Looking at the rear cap, it looks to be in really good shape. No real sun fading I see there. You've got a nice aluminum hex roof access ladder. Nice receiver hitch on the rear, so if you're going to tow something behind it, this one's not so long that you can't, can't do that. Please refer to the ad for the exact specs on length and width and height and all those pertinent figures. This is your other living room slide out. So you have basically uh, three slide outs on this unit. Up at the front, that's your master bedroom slide out. Here on the business side of the RV, of course, on the rear, we've got your 50 amp service coming in. As we move along, we'll give you some access to the pass-through storage. Slide toppers look really good on these. Um, don't appear to be pulling away anywhere. Rubber looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at this pass-through storage here for you and your city water access. So again, you've got a large really deep pass-through storage available on both sides of the camper and of course here on the business side of the driver's side of the camper you've got all your your tank controls your wash down shower city water hookups inlets for your satellite cable phone whatever if you're going to do full-time living or going to be at a park for very long propane access to your 30 pound bottles so 60 pound propane capacity and as we come around to the front part of the fifth wheel, the front cap actually looks quite well. Uh, very, very slight fading on the decals and the graphics, but nothing, nothing major. Another nice feature is this one does have the nice Flex Air uh, trail arm uh, fifth wheel hookup. Really makes for a much smoother ride when you're towing this. Of course, you've got docking lights under here. You got your landing gear controls. You've got your typical fifth wheel front storage to access your bat your house battery. It is wired for a generator and it already has a mount here for it. And there is a generator control in the interior panel. My guess is at one time this had a generator and somebody took it out, but it is ready for a generator should you want to add one to it. Again, there's your house battery access. As we come on around, we'll go ahead and give you a shot underneath of the awning. As you can see, it's in really good shape. It's been raining here, so it's a little damp today. You've got access to your, your, your house battery, as well as your hydraulic tank for your leveling and your, and your solenoids for your controls. Let's go ahead and take another look at the pass-through. This is your full entry pass-through. This is heated basement 
So this is a four seasons package. It does have the, the sealed underbelly, heated basement storage. You have a central back system. You have access here and inside the camper. Of course, there's your park inlet service for antenna or coax. There's your manual control for the awning should you need it. Now we're gonna go ahead and get on the interior. And as we come up, you do have swing under entry steps, a swing away entry assist handle. Again, this is the model 3385. And I'm gonna leave this on a wide angle so you can really get an idea of the layout. As you come in, you're gonna be coming in mid cabin. And as you come into the inside, you've got your control panel inside of your coat closet with all of your controls for your slide outs, your lights. There's that control panel for your generator. So should you decide to add one, you've got wiring inside for that. Really nice, your tank monitors, of course. And as we pan across here, rear living room, mid kitchen arrangement, tile transitioning to carpet. These folks use this for full-time living for about a year. They did remove the dinette and the couch that was in here. So that space is available to you to customize. If you want to add a, a dinette set or some theater seating, you've got a blank canvas to work with. You got really nice real wood cabinetry, nice touches throughout. A very user-friendly kitchen. You got a nice countertop with a return depth, return sink, Corian countertops, also a swing away extension for your for your prep station, stainless steel sink, three burner cooktop. You do have an oven and a microwave. Go ahead and move on back into the rear of the living room. You do have two rocker recliners. You've got a nice built-in fireplace. Another nice feature you don't see in a lot of these, you do have a workstation or a built-in desk. Flat screen TV, access for all your, all your panels. Of course, this is a fully ducted heating and cooling system. It's a two unit system, one in mid cabin, one there in the front heat in the floor. You've got a Dometic built-in refrigerator freezer. You've got the nice wood accent veneers on the front to match the rest of the cabinetry in the RV. And there's access for your central back. As you head up the stairwell, you have a nice storage compartment for all of your accessories for your central back system. And as you enter the stairwell and come up, we'll hit the bedroom first. You've got a nice full door for privacy in the master bedroom. As we enter into the master bedroom, a very comfortable, very nice place to be. Nice built-in cabinets above and under. You got a spot there for your TV with wiring for your coax. There's that AC unit for the rear. Queen size bed with a nightstand, reading lamps. Really nice size closet. You got sliding mirrored doors, a really long curtain or hanging rod, carpet, built in overhead shelf, which extends into the other closet with another hanging rod. And this is a unit that is pre wired and pre plumbed for a washer dryer. So you've got that option if you need this for full time living or extended stays on the road. Uh, a real find in this price category, guys to be able to find a unit with this large floor plan at this price point to have all of the features that it has. Again, as I mentioned, a really good entry point fifth wheel if you want to get into RVing without breaking the bank. As we move back out of the bedroom, we have a nice size bedroom, uh, bathroom. We've got a large, uh, as far as elevated, nice elevated Dometic head, plenty of leg room, overhead storage, vent fan, you got a nice corner mounted shower, corner mounted uh, sink with medicine cabinet. When we get into the shower, you got lots of width, a nice little shelf, detachable shower head. You do have a recessed skylight in here for a little extra height for you tall folks. Present company not included in that. We'll give you another overhead view looking from the stairwell in. Just a really inviting floor plan on the interior. Everything inside looks really good. 
looking at the ceiling i don't see any signs of any water intrusion so the roof seems to be in good shape as i said they have resealed it recently a couple of things we do want to show you to be aware of when you're thinking about your offer as i stated this is a used unit so please keep that in mind but the only things that we see here that need a little attention is you have a little delamination under the under the cap here but nothing really major and this is really the only area of the camper that you're going to see that uh, but again fairly normal wear and tear for a 2010 model so guys there we go we've got you a 2010 bighorn made by heartland it's the model 3385, available by Pop RVs, located in Henderson, Texas. If you're interested in seeing this unit, you can call the number below in your screen or text or call me directly, Shane Head, at 903-293-3851 if you've got any questions or you'd like to make an offer or if you'd like to set up a time to see it. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.